the YouTube about you here in another video and I forgot that this happened June f something of not 2015 and I need to go over this cuz I uh, yeah go figure with my life in my uh, disabled children disabled remember that word throughout this video it's very hard to think and concentrate and do things and I would like to throw under the bus of the controversy that a main restaurant owner, which I will not give her restaurant name, and I will not give her, but if you look it up, so be it, you'll find it. But we have a restaurant owner that had a two-year-old customer and claimed that the parents of the child did not give or feed the two-year-old uh, the pancakes. So she sat there and cried and cried and cried and cried and cried and cried and cried, and cried until the <laughs> until it came to point blank range where the owner took her hands, slammed them down on a counter and told the kid to be quiet. Pretty much shut up. And I just had to go quickly over the article and oh my god, what a disgusting, disgusting thing to hear from customers that were there. Of saying that they were sick of peer and parents not parenting. So that's why children are off the wall and rockers. Now let me get and tell you this, you dumb sons of bitches. Now, not knowing if the child was disabled throughout the video, keyword disabled. <clears throat> And taking it upon yourself that all oh, the parents did not feed the child the pancakes or two or three or whatever the fucking case may be. Excuse my language. Try to keep the dirty words out, but I can't say that too much because this restaurant owner was freaking had some foul language on uh, Facebook of herself. And, you know, gonna use trucker mouth towards this little child and parents. And let me tell you something. For these, the couple that said that parents not being and not doing their parenting. Let me tell you something. Obviously, and I don't think that stupid owner, yeah, you stupid owner of the restaurant in Maine, have kids. I don't think you do. But believe me, hopefully you do end up with kids and you're cursed with what people deal with. With reality, woman, of what really goes on with a disabled eight child's mind. Now, right, this ain't the fucking back in the day where you can take your child, paddle their ass, and get away with it. And if I was to do that, and I have raised my voice in a restaurant, and grabbed some attention, and I've taken my kids out of restaurants because of their bad behaviors and how that, yeah, it does get kind of frustrating and very, you know, demental in there when you got kids yelling, screaming, you don't know what to do with them. You give them crayons or you give them the food. You tell them to do this. You tell them to do that. They don't do, do, do. They want to cry, whine, whatever. They're used to. And it's not because parents don't know how to parent. It's because of the fact that's right. You can't get up. Oh, you won't shut up. Bang, 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 bang. Smack, smack, smack. And paddle their ass. Then you got people calling DCF or DC whatever or whatever the parenting place is out your way. But you don't do that these days and that's kind of what does suck about it because of the simple fact of right you get your kids taken if you discipline your kids this way or you could get your kids taken and investigated if you discipline your kids that way it's all a really dysfunctional system that runs and when kids do get beat and abused but with broken arms, black eyes, punch in the face, them kids stay in the home or even wind up dead. But the parents like me, which I have used the spanking method, and I have used things that are legal of smacking of the hand to the child. And I have done, had DCF called on me for the simple rules that I abide and obey. And it's frustrating and it's sick. 
I had people make an assumption on my child because they had a donut face, all chocolate. They said the kid was dirty. They said I left the kid in a car when I brought the kid in a place, which I have a video up of that. And they assumed the child stayed in the car for 45 minutes. But that ain't the case here. This is the case of kids. And when I have my kids and I go through stores or the um, <clears throat> supermarket, or so be it. Here we are having kids that want to have a big old playground. Think they can run up and down the aisles, running in and out of clothes racks. Think they can play hide and seek. I had my youngest son at six years old run down an aisle, bump right into his carriage to an old gentleman, elder gentleman, and so forth. And why? Because they're... Right, diagnosed with ADHD, the biggest problem with kids of not coping with life and in general of not getting disciplined the right way that it should be of the modern time. I'm not saying go all out right and beat the shit out of your kid, pound his face in, give him black and blues, broken bones. No, I'm talking about the simple things in life that used to be because I know when I was a kid and I did things wrong, whether it be me doing it or not doing it. I got my ass warmed up. There was days when I couldn't sit properly for two days on my bed. And be, ooh, getting up. Ooh, yeah. Tucking the old buttocks up going, ooh, that hurts. Wow, well, on fire. Yeah, that's right. And I did learn in some respectful ways of what to do and not to do. But for you, lady, to take your aggression out and get pissed off and think you, all your customers are happy just because this kid is whining and crying and you don't know what the disability of it was, what the diagnosis of this little girl was, well, then shame on you. You are just as demented as anybody else in this world. And even to put a two-year-old with not even a fully formed mind... Mind you, still a fragile eggshell mind there going on there, lady, at two years old. And they don't know better. And when they have disabilities, they definitely don't know better. And that's something you should take in consideration and in looking into more of. More on. That's right. So all I can describe you as a person that just extremely... Ex Obviously, I can diagnose you right now. You have an expulsion disorder. You can sit there and tell people, oh, leave or go and whatever you want. <clears throat> but if they paid for a meal and if they're going to pay for the meal and they can't help the way their child acts because of the disability, if it did not have a disability or a diagnosis, take everything I back. Everything back, I say. But if it did and if that child did, not it, the child did, sorry, then shame on you for not knowing the situation. And when you go to these therapists and psychiatrists and meetings and in-home therapy and behavioral home therapy, they tell you, they tell you, you can't do that. I've sat in meetings for an hour explaining methods of stuff I do or explaining stuff of what my child does. And right, what do they do? Call DCF. Or they just give out and hand out things that the child is supposed to do. Or you work with the child. And it don't work. Because it's all boring. Kid don't want that. And that's what happens these days. These moderate times where everything is where you think a game. Or put in, then they, they even tell you, bring your kid for a treat if they behave. Bring your kid for a treat. But when you do that, you're spoiling that kid. Then they expect it like my six-year-old to go to the store all the time because I didn't follow what some person said as a therapist. And that ruins everything. I had a therapist that seen both of my two youngest children. And the only reason why they wanted to go see this therapist they thought all the time they were going to have fun. So when I did have a serious issue with my child and bring them into this therapist, they're going to have fun in trying to get this therapist to listen to even something of the point where my kid, right, all running out in front of a car or maybe going in the store, knocking over a whole rack of clothes. The therapist didn't want to hear this. You know what they said to me? I want to hear the positive stuff. No more negative. So what do you do, lady? What do you do when you got therapists telling you this when they're supposed to be helping your child? 
There's no ways. It's a 360. You spin, you spin. You're doing a complete donut all your life until your kid grows up, gets out of your hair, and you get back what little sanity you're left with, and that's it. That's how life goes with children. And I hope for God, if you haven't got kids yet, I hope you do curse you having kids, and hope they whine and cry. <clears throat> Excuse me, and have a disability like this child which you didn't even know of because you just want to blow up because you're just a big badass and that's what you think you are and when you do them interactions of swinging your hands slamming your fist in front of a disabled child they don't know how to interact with that they don't they get scared or they even get more frustrated and yell more scream more if you did get the kid to shut up that's right them parents don't do that i yell at my kids as you can see my voice is kind of stressed because i'm always yelling at my kids the only thing i can do is right is yell but do you think that even works at times but then again if someone was to do that in your restaurant and raise their voice would you allow that or would you think they're a sick maniac Gonna, gonna explode and kill everybody in the restaurant. <clears throat> Cause I'll tell you something right now. There's a voice that I use, and it's not sane. Let's put it that way. When my you use this voice around my kids, they spread out, they scatter, they go do their business, they quiet down. Is right. But if I was to do something like that in your restaurant, and the only way to control a kid would be that method of mine. Screaming at the top of your lungs like a freaking madman. You'd probably call the cops on me. So you better wonder why the kids sat there, screamed, and cried. That's right. Because these days, there's no interacting with children on how to get them to stop to do something. Because people have it in their heads. And if I do that, this is going to be called, they're going to be called the cops to this, that. There's so many things in all the natives that twist this story around that you, you miss business owner, don't have the thoughts and experience, obviously, which I do. So I have street smarts and I've grown up around a lot of kids with disabilities and in broken homes. My, myself, broken home. And you know what? When you don't have that experience to end this all right here. You should keep your big mouth shut. We'll end it right here. You should mind your business. End it right here. Anybody into that restaurant cheered and clapped for you to shut that kid up? You all a shame. Shame on you. Shame on the owner. And shame to what your beliefs are of how this happy-go-lucky world should be. Enjoying a great, nice meal in a restaurant. And yes, I've had my kids in restaurants talking them out. And what? What's happened? I got my kid over here sweeping the floor. Or going over there and playing with soda bottles. Or going in the fridge to grab something that we already have. Like a two liter bottle of soda. Or a little drink. or But we have it over here and he thinks he's getting his own. And it's all a friggin' insane, crazy experience that if you don't have kids you people shut up because there's no way of maintaining a kid out in public and people shouldn't have to ruin or lose their lives on not being able to go out and enjoy a meal but of course in your restaurant they will because yeah, I guarantee you nowadays since it's been already almost a year you probably cringe when you see a bunch of kids come in your restaurant with their parents getting your fist all clenched up and ready, are ya? Bang! That's right. You know what? Don't have kids, shut your mouth. Don't know the history, shut your mouth. Don't have the experience, shut your mouth. That's all that needs to be said of this story. I missed, I forgot all about this story. I wanted to get it out there. <clears throat> and so be it. Here it is. Hope you get this Miss Main restaurant owner. Because to me, of running a business like that is just no business at all. You want to run a business? Mind your business. Unless them people in there smashing shit or breaking stuff or even throwing food at the other customers, then you should mind your business. 
That's the way it should be. Not get up in this person's face because they could have a disabled child. Blah, blah, blah. YouTube Nation, be safe. Take care. You up there in Maine, yeah. Go back in the woods. Go find some uh, grub. Grubs to get and pick out of the ground or feed your customers what you're really cooking. Or maybe some dead worms. Or night crawlers. Or whatever it is you use out in them areas. You weirdos. Other than that, it's not no bad comment, but, <laughs> but, hey, for someone that does that to a child two years old, don't know the situation, don't know the thing, and go eat your grubs off your tree. That's right. Till the next video, YouTube Nation, out.